Okay, I've got some exciting news for you guys here today. We have the announcement of OpenAI's GPT store, which will allow you to build and monetize your own GPT. This is absolutely huge. If we look back at, you know, the release of Shopify, the release of the App Store on the iPhone, this is a monumental event because it's going to allow so many people to come in and build their own ChatGPT. So we saw Sam Alman just make this announcement literally right now. So let's read here. OpenAI took the leash off ChatGPT today with the announcement of GPTs, a way for anyone to build their own version of the popular converse, conversational AI system. Not only can you build your own GPT for fun or productivity, but you'll also be able to publish it on a marketplace they call the GPT store and maybe even make a little cash in the process. The news features announced with many others today at OpenAI's first developer day in San Francisco indicate a more hands-off approach to the AI marketplace, which has hitherto been defined by a handful of dedicated general purpose systems. Indeed, said systems are becoming even more general purpose with the new capabilities. But the AI giant has clearly taken a page from Apple's book in seeing that being the go-to platform for the ingenuity of others is at least as valuable as having ingenuity oneself. We believe if you give people the tools, they will do amazing things, said founder and CEO Sam Altman on stage. To the end, the company is introducing what's called GPT, custom versions of ChatGPT that you can create for a specific purpose. And yes, you can expect some confusion on that point since GPT or general pre-chain transformer is actually the technical term for this type of large language model. GPTs can be made with no coding experience and can be as simple or complex as you like, as they explained. For example, you could have GPT trained on your recipe collection so that you can quickly ask what ingredients you need for that one soup. You can have it ingest information, sprawling fantasy series. Wait, sir, who's Roderick Random? And if you're more serious minded, you could use as a developer or company and have a GPT trained on all proprietary code so others can quickly check their style or generate generate harmonious code. So it's possible to make a GPT by chatting with ChatGPT and describing what you want and we'll be able to test this out soon. That's going to be insane. So you can literally make GPT by chatting with ChatGPT. That's pretty crazy, guys. You can in effect program a GPT with language but just by talking to it, said Almond. It's very easy to customize behavior so that they can do what you want. This makes sense makes them very accessible and gives agency to everyone. He demonstrated this on stage, describing the ChatGPT under a new GPT draft that he wanted to make a bot that advises founders on how to improve their startup. Then he uploaded a lecture he'd given on the subject, told it to be concise and constructive and decided it was ready to go. You'll also be able to bring in outside services like sending an unsupported language out to translation API, but users will be able to choose whether the data can be handled that way. An app store for AI. Perhaps the most impactful announcement of all of this was OpenAI's GPT store, which will be the platform at which these GPTs will be distributed and eventually monetized. Later this month, we're we're launching the GPT store featuring creations by verified builders and once in store, GPT become the most searchable and may climb the leaderboards. We will also spotlight the most useful and delightful GPTs we come across in categories like product productivity, education, and just for fun. In the coming months, you'll also be able to earn money based on how many people are using your GPT. Sound familiar? The App Store has proven unbelievably lucrative for Apple, so it should be no surprise that OpenAI is attempting to replicate it here. Not only will GPTs be hosted and developed on OpenAI's platforms, but they will also be promoted and evaluated. We're going to be paying people who make the most used and most useful GPTs with a portion of our revenue, and they're excited to share more information soon, Alman said. It's not clear at this point whether there will be an ability to simply charge for your GPT or whether it will be strictly revenue sharing. When I asked him later, he said yeah, he expects the strategy to evolve first with straight revenue share and later the possibility of subscribing to individual GPTs if there's demand for that. It's not clear who these verified builders are exactly, but presumably it's a hurdle to prevent low effort and scammy stuff from making its way in. But they demonstrate GPTs built by Code.org, TripAdvisor, and Canva. So it may be at first 
So it may be that at first it's going to be more official apps rather than individual GPT experiments. Now I actually tested one chat VT, which was in shot or in video, I believe. Oh no, CapCut, yes, CapCut with ChatGPT, which actually allows you to automatically make a video, but with just ChatGPT. So this stuff is clearly groundbreaking. OpenAI is claiming high here in the decision to establish itself as a platform independent from existing app stores and distribution methods may put it directly in conflict with industry giants like Apple and even perennial and patron Microsoft. Apple may take issue with the monetization of GPT models without taking its cut via the App Store, so OpenAI will have to step lightly here. And Microsoft is also set to debut its own co-pilot models specific to tasks like Office tools, and it certainly sounds like GPT might run headlong into those enterprise level models. CEO Satya Nadella appeared on stage briefly to re reiterate how excited he is about the partnership and there is certainly a sense that OpenAI is one moving forward and Microsoft is relegating itself to a support role. How long can that relationship stay friendly? The next few years will be interesting to say the least. The details of the ChatGPT store developing as OpenAI gets into them over the course of the day. We'll update this post as we learn more. So. This is very early days, guys. I wanted to go over this in depth with you and hear what your guys' thoughts are. I think that this is gonna be absolutely huge. You know, keep an eye out on this because the first movers in any ecosystem, any marketplace is usually huge. Just think about being one of the first sellers on Amazon, being one of the you know first users of Airbnb, being you know even one of the first users of Uber. They probably gave you some special benefits there as well. So, I would definitely keep an eye out on the Chat GPT store. I think this is going to have a lot of opportunity for people to come in, make apps. I mean, no, not apps, but GPTs, and um, really bring them out to the marketplace. Focus it to a specific industry. Focus it on a specific problem and reap the rewards. So hope this video was helpful. If you guys want more AI content like this, please feel free to smash the like button and subscribe. I'm here to help you make more money with AI. So that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.